Here we go. So this is problem number two. Is it 24 on your guys's or is it 36 on your guys's? 36. 36 and yours? What on yours? 24. So why is it so much different? Because there's more problems on the test. Yeah. Oh, there is? Yeah. Oh. You made what? Bro. Wow. What a punk. <laughs> anyway. All right, let's get through it. All right, so this is 24 on your practice test. All right, here we go. What are we going to do? Well, we got to make a system of equations. That means we got to make some equations. Okay? Now, systems of equations always involves two equations. Why? Because it's a system. Because it's a system, kind of. Because how many variables are there? Two. Two. And with two variables, you need two equations. Okay? If you have three variables, you need three equations. Four variables, you need four equations. And so forth. Okay? So, be happy. It's only two. Okay? So, but we're going to make up three, and I'll show you why. Okay? Now, first, we're going to do the easy one. Some people have trouble with this. You've got to know how to make up the, the equations. So think about this. If you work so many hours per day, right? Can you calculate how much, how much money you'll make in a day? So how do you do that? If you make uh, $10 an hour, how much will we make in an eight hour day? 80 bucks. How'd you figure that out? Math. What kind of math? Mental math. No, you had to do something. Like so eight plus 10 is 80? Multiplication. Multiplication. Yeah, you said, hey, 80, eight hours times $10 per hour is gonna give me 80 bucks, right? If I said it was five bucks an hour, then you would say I'm not coming to work. I'm just kidding, <laughs> but I'm not. That's how we got, that's the kind of people we raise. All right, so, all right, so, five dollars an hour at eight hours a day would be how many dollars a day? Five dollars an hour, yes, these are our children. Five dollars an hour, at eight hours a day, 40. would be forty dollars. Dude, you know what? Right? How, how do I figure that out? It's a miracle. So the way he's doing that is he's taking the amount of hours, right? Yeah. So if we only know that it's f hours, right? Yeah. Then we have to say that f hours, right? F hours. So f times is the amount of hours, right? But how much per hour in day one? Twenty dollars. We were making twenty dollars an hour for for day one. But how much were we making in day two? Fifteen. So if I did twenty dollars an hour for the first day, right? Plus fifteen dollars an hour for the second day. Hence the S and the F, right? How much would you have? 500, that's how much we would make, right? Because we made $500. So that's how we came up with the 500, okay? So $20 per hour the first day plus $15 per hour for the second day gives us a total of $500. Does that make sense? But I need two equations and that's only one, okay? So I need another equation. So, we'll take another hint they gave us, and this other hint was, hey, they worked five hours less on the first day than on the second day. So how could we write that? How could we write five hours less on the first day? So how do you say five hours less? Are you dividing, are you multiplying, are you subtracting, are you adding? Subtracting. Subtracting, because it's less, okay? So five hours less, on the first day, 
How would I write that? Would it be the, the second day with minus five? Or is it the first day minus five? Right? So that's the hard part, right? So we have to think. The first day is equal to the second day. Is that true? No. It said that on the first day, you were five hours less, right? So that means if I have F, the first day hours, this should be five less than this. So then wouldn't I have S minus five? Because the first day equals five less than the second day? Or is it the, is it the opposite? Is that right? So the second day minus five would equal the first. Isn't that right? Did you work five hours less the first day? Let's plug in some numbers. Let's plug in, um, let's plug in 12. What's 12 minus five? Seven. Is that true? On the first day I worked five less, oh shoot. Okay, well then there you go, let's use that. Right? I mean, use something you know to figure out what you don't know. I get it. This is confusing. But plug in some numbers you know. Maybe, hey, 12 doesn't work for you. Maybe you like 10. Okay? But what's five, 10 minus 5? Five? 5. Did you work 5 less the first day than the second day? Is it working? Is that true? Yeah, it works. So that means that F plus... Or sorry, F equals S minus 5. Okay? Now, I beg to differ that there's another way you could write this. Right? So this is a half empty, half full classroom, right? So I mean, you look at it and you see a problem half empty. I see a problem half full. <laughs> it seems like you're not very optimistic. Okay? So... I don't like to think of minus, I like to think of plus. If I add 5 to both sides, then wouldn't this be F plus 5 is equal to S? Right? Does that work? Does that work though? If I plug in 10, is F still going to be 5? What plus 5 is 10? 5. So that, that, that still works, right? The first day is 5 less than the second. Does that make sense? Okay. And, and bear with me with this. F plus 5 is equal to X. Now this is a second equation that you don't have. It's the same as this one. They're the same equation. This one it says minus, the other one says plus. Right? But I'm going to show you how important this is. Okay? Alright, so this is your systems of equations. And you can have this in there. That's it. That's it. But now you got to show your work, explain your answer, and get it right. Ooh, it's a lot to do. All right, so what are we going to do? Well, couldn't I, couldn't I think if this is F, right? Couldn't I put this in for F? And then all I would have is everything in terms of S, and then just solve for S? And that's called substitution. Instead of linear combination, we're using what's called substitution. Okay? We're substituting in something for F that has it in terms of S. Okay? And when we do that, then we can say that 20 times 